Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Hey there everyone, welcome to FJX 2000 Productions and another episode of Let's FJ. In today's episode, I wanted to dive into a discussion on Toyota's recently debuted compact cruiser EV, since there is no doubt it is being viewed as some sort of Toyota FJ cruiser successor by the media. And on this channel, we love the FJ, so I will go over my own personal thoughts on the concept, both positive and negative, and you can leave your comments down below and let me know what you think of it, since it is such a hot topic right now and everyone has an opinion. But before we get started, I just wanted to take a second to thank you all so much for all the support you've given my channel this year. As we close out this year, I just wanted to emphasize how awesome you've all been. My channel was under 3,000 subscribers at the beginning of 2021, and now we're almost to 10,000. That is incredible! Thank you so much again, and if you enjoyed today's video or other FJ Cruiser related content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to stay in the loop about all things FJ Cruiser. It would be so awesome to reach 10,000 subs before the end of 2021, so if you are subscribing right now, thank you. Anyways, back to today's topic. On December 14th, 2021, Akito Toyota, the president of Toyota Motor Corporation, shared his vision for the future of mobility. Basically, he laid out the company's plan for electrification of their vehicles with the goal of offering 30 different battery electric vehicles by 2030 and producing 3.5 million electric vehicles annually by that year as well. At this press release, Toyota debuted a whole lineup of 16 different concept EVs. Some resembled sports cars like the Sports EV, while others were more traditional like the Crossover EV or Small SU EV. Ha, I see what they did there. But others were very unique like the e pallet which is more like a bus, or the mid-box and micro-box, which are totally strange looking and maybe some sort of sprinter van or delivery vehicle replacement. But of course, none of those are why you clicked on this video. Along with all the other debuted EVs was the Compact Cruiser EV. Immediately upon viewing this concept vehicle, it is easy to see where it is taking inspiration and design cues from. To begin, even in the name Compact Cruiser EV, you have the word cruiser, which is a sacred term for Toyota fans. With the Land Cruiser being one of the most coveted titles in Toyota's lineup, both past and present, Toyota lovers only want vehicles with cruiser in the name to be emblematic of the off-road legacy Toyota has built over the years. Even back in the early 2000s, it was not necessarily appreciated by hardcore Land Cruiser fans when Toyota unveiled the FJ Cruiser concept as a spiritual successor to the original FJ40 Land Cruiser. Over time, the Toyota Cruiser community has come to appreciate and accept the FJ Cruiser as part of the Toyota off-road family of vehicles, just as folks now recognize the 4Runner and Tacoma as part of that off-road family as well. But that doesn't mean people still don't take the name Cruiser lightly. Back in 2017, Toyota unveiled the TJ Cruiser concept, which was pretty unanimously received with terrible reception, both from Land Cruiser and FJ Cruiser fans alike, as it was an obvious misstep from Toyota's off-road legacy and was seen as a desecration of the Cruiser title. But this concept Cruiser EV may just have what it takes to do the title of Cruiser justice. Upon seeing the Compact Cruiser EV in both real photos and renderings, one of the design cues that stands out as FJ-esque includes the clear Toyota lettered logo across the grille. Most of Toyota's other vehicles simply have the Toyota emblem, with the lettered Toyota logo only making appearances on the FJ Cruiser and TRD Pro vehicles as a way of respecting the off-road legacy of Land Cruisers of the past that also sported the Toyota logo. The overall shape and size of this cruiser is pretty boxy and reminiscent of the FJ Cruiser's dimensions, though it does seem a little smaller to me, especially in the rear cargo area. The mirrors are clearly shaped in a way that is almost identical to the FJ's mirrors, though they do have an interesting little square section in the bottom corner that doesn't appear to be a light, but perhaps some kind of sensor? Or a place where a light could be added on? I'm not sure. The hood is also the same general shape as that of the FJ Cruiser, and even has the distinctive hood scoop seen on the FJ hood. And the front bumper, at least, is vaguely reminiscent of the FJ's, as it has the silver center section like the FJ has, but on this model, it is much more distinct. 
The bumper's overall shape is oddly similar to the factory FJ front bumper, but for folks who remove or accidentally break off the bumper corner pieces, which I find pretty funny. And then of course, we have the distinctive blue color. Voodoo Blue was an iconic FJ Cruiser color used on the concept FJ and actual production FJs from 2007 to 2009, and then other blue hues like Cavalry Blue and Heritage Blue were used in later years. The Compact Cruiser's blue is a little lighter than Voodoo Blue, however more vibrant than Cavalry or Heritage Blue, so it seems like a happy medium, and I quite like that. As far as other design cues go, I think the Compact Cruiser EV almost takes as many design cues from the FJ Cruiser as it does the Toyota FT4X concept, released in 2017. This was another vehicle that many people said was sort of a successor to the FJ, in that it is designed for people to take outdoors and enjoy in various activities as it had lots of cargo area inside, though it didn't have the same off-road prowess as the FJ did but that project never really went anywhere. However, we can see the red side panels on the compact cruiser and how that seems to be a design cue taken straight from the FT4X, at least on the driver's side. The FT4X, as you can probably tell, isn't a large vehicle either, but is also boxy and therefore reminds me a lot of this new EV. Even the side panels below the doors are pretty much identical, as are the fender flares in a way. I also find it funny that the turn signals on this Cruiser EV are somewhat reminiscent of the hood handle things on the newer Ford Broncos. When it comes to this compact Cruiser EV, some of the things that concern me are just how it seems like a watered down version of the FJ when it comes to off-road capability. Starting with its size, when you compare the concept EV truck, which is pretty much just an electric Tacoma, to this Cruiser EV, it is easy to see how much smaller the Cruiser EV is, as compared to the FJ Cruiser and the modern Tacoma, where the FJ is much more comparable in size and height. Speaking of height, the compact cruiser seems much lower to the ground and thus loses points for ground clearance, which is paramount when off-roading over rough terrain. The tires and wheels are also noticeably smaller, with the tire and wheel combo being much more like what is seen on the FT4X concept than the actual FJ Cruiser. With smaller tires and larger wheels, this is another strike against the concept EV in the off-road department as the Tacoma, 4Runner, and FJ Cruiser all have at least 265-70 R17 tires from the factory and have the capability of being upgraded to larger 33-inch tires, or even 35s and 37s with some extra work and trimming. I doubt you could even get 33s on this compact cruiser without a lot of challenges. And as far as the suspension and frame goes, it's impossible to tell at the moment whether this vehicle is of unibody design or if it sticks with the body on frame style used by the FJ Cruiser, 4Runner, Tacoma, and other solid Toyota off-roaders. But typically, smaller crossover SUVs and similar sized vehicles, like the Jeep Renegade, which this compact cruiser EV seems very similar to, are of unibody construction, leading me to think that this EV is too. It is also impossible to tell whether this vehicle has a solid rear axle or not, but again, judging by the class of vehicles it is most similar to, I would guess it would have full independent suspension. But with electrification, this isn't necessarily a terrible thing. For example, look at the new Rivian R1T, an electric truck that was able to make it up formidable obstacles and trails like Hell's Gate on the Hell's Revenge Trail in Moab. It has independent suspension for all four wheels and independent motor control of each tire, which adds some neat capabilities for off-roading. Other things that may be fine with others that I personally am not a huge fan of is the loss of the classic Land Cruiser or FJ Cruiser look by removing the iconic grille and round headlights. It just doesn't seem like a true Cruiser successor to me without those design cues, but others may be more accepting of this more modern look as the normal Land Cruiser itself has changed as well over the years. I also think the front bumper is very similar to Thanos' chin from the Marvel movies, so hopefully that's something that is changed eventually, should this go into production. And I do like the idea of the front red toe point, but my OCD wishes they had just added a toe point on both sides and not only the one side. I also wish a more substantial roof rack was implemented on the concept vehicle, like what you find on the FJ Cruiser, and then what was later adopted by other Toyota vehicles. 
but that doesn't seem to be too big of a deal as the images show a bit of gear being stored up top and even the addition of a side ladder, which is pretty cool, and I'm sure that overlanders are pretty excited about that. What this compact cruiser EV does have going for it, though, is the addition of four doors. One complaint of the FJ Cruiser by many is the awkward suicide door situation, and many over the years have wished for two and four door versions similar to what Jeep does with the Wrangler. So at least some folks would be satisfied by having four true doors. But the four door design used here does imply that the rear seats are pretty much right over the rear axle, leaving very little room in the back for cargo and equipment should someone have a car full of passengers and need to transport everyone's baggage. With the use of electric motors and batteries, one benefit EVs gain is an underbelly that is devoid of things to get caught on. Modern EVs, like Rivian models, have smooth underbody panels that allow for additional clearance from obstacles which this compact cruiser would probably need. The logistics of taking an EV off-roading are still hazy to me as far as what you can do to make sure you don't run out of power if you're on a long overlanding trip. With traditional engines, you can carry spare fuel with you, yet with an electric vehicle, you would have to have some sort of backup power source or solar power setup to achieve a similar result. Another intriguing thing are these strange squares on the front bumper, which could be some sort of fog light, but are more likely a sensor of some sort, which along with the possible sensors in the mirrors, makes me think this cruiser could have self-driving capabilities, and perhaps not only for on-road purposes. Just as Toyota has implemented technology like terrain select and crawl control for their off-road vehicles, which makes the challenges of off-roading even simpler, I would like to imagine Toyota is taking steps into the future of off-roading and perhaps developing systems for off-roading where the vehicle could help guide itself over the best possible path to make it over obstacles and other rough terrain. But this is just complete speculation on my part. In conclusion, all we have at the moment to base all of our judgments on are a few photos or videos of the Compact Cruiser EV at the press release and then some computer renderings of the cruiser both stationary and in action, which gives us a look at the concept when it apparently was going by the title Light Cruiser, as is seen in this video on the concept's dashboard and rear license plate. From the brief scenes we do see in the video, we can spot a super modern interior with large display screens and a futuristic looking steering wheel sporting the lettered Toyota logo, which I quite like. And the concept EV in these videos features different white wheels than what is seen on the Cruiser EV's other images or the real life model. We also get a glimpse of the rear end of this cruiser and the dual third brake lights above the rear door and a roof rack that seems to wrap down around the rear door. Not sure how that works when it comes to opening the cargo door, but it is a concept after all, so it doesn't have to. It is safe to say this compact cruiser EV does indeed tick a lot of the boxes for Toyota fans. For some, it may be exactly what they are looking for, in a fun, rugged vehicle that they can take on their next camping trip. Meanwhile, for others who are looking for a better off-road platform, yet want the benefits of an electric vehicle, the Tacoma EV will be better suited for them. As I mentioned earlier, this Cruiser EV definitely appears to be more comparable to the Jeep Renegade in size and function than to the new Ford Bronco or proven Jeep Wrangler, which the FJ Cruiser is more similar to. But maybe that just helps solidify the FJ Cruiser as a truly unique vehicle whose value will only keep increasing as demand for an FJ-like vehicle increases. To me, Toyota is missing out on appealing to the same audience that loves the FJ Cruiser by not making a true successor that could be a competitor to the Bronco or Jeep Wrangler, or if it were made to be an electric vehicle, competition to the Hummer EV or Rivian R1T and R1S. But you never know. What we are seeing now are only a handful of concept EVs that will undergo changes before only possibly entering the market. And this could be just the initial wave of EVs. And like Toyota said, they want to offer even more EV models by 2030. So perhaps down the road, we could see an EV Forerunner, EV Tundra, and even a true EV FJ Cruiser. Fingers crossed. 
Hopefully this video has been helpful to you in understanding what exactly the Compact Cruiser EV even is and where it fits in the Toyota lineup of vehicles. I'm sure a vehicle like it would see success if it starts being produced and hits the marketplace. But I also believe true FJ fans and owners are probably not going to be selling their FJ Cruisers anytime soon to get one. That is all for now, but be sure to check out some of my other videos if you want more information about FJs or even just want to see videos of mine and other FJ cruisers in action. I appreciate you watching this video and hope you consider liking, commenting, and subscribing for more FJ cruiser related content. Thanks for all that you do, and until next time, take care.